Hello Aquarius, this is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Alright guys, if you're wanting a personal reading, please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason you guys are unable to access that site, Go ahead and shoot me an email and um, we'll get it together. All right, let's see. Past issues here. What was going on in the recent past is the emperor. Maybe, you know, you or the other person. Um, not really budging on certain issues, I feel, related to the past. Um, kind of standing your ground, standing in your power, feeling feeling as such. Um, or either you were dealing with someone, maybe an Aries, that you feel like was maybe a little too um, stubborn, maybe a little overbearing at times even with this energy of the emperor. Or maybe you felt like, you know, n neither one of you could really like get on the same page, see eye to eye here. That it always had to be their way. Okay. Let's see what's going on with them. The King of Cups. Hmm. This person's facing the future. Um, they're future oriented. They're they're feeling emotionally stable. I feel like this person is enjoying themselves right now. They're having a good time. Um, they may be entertaining people, maybe not on an intimate level, but um, just kind of enjoying life is what I'm getting here. Feeling very grounded and stable. Hmm. Could be a Capricorn individual, Scorpio, that is significant for you guys here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what's influencing or what's uh, what's keeping you from them. What's keeping Aquarius from this individual? King of Swords. Yeah. Let's see. What I'm, what I'm getting from this is that maybe you feel like this person has not changed, okay? Maybe you feel like they are too set in their ways. They want things their way, even. And it's like, you know what you know. And I'm, I'm getting that maybe you guys have not interacted with this person um, for a little bit. So you really don't know what kind of changes they have initiated in their life but I'm getting if they were more if they were um, not emotional or not emotionally stable before maybe they were a little aggressive maybe angry I'm feeling like they're changing a bit here okay they're a little more lax they they are more open to giving and extending emotionally okay so what's keeping you from them is the fact that you feel like you know this person, like you got their number and, um, you know, you're not falling for the okie doke. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Four of Swords, they're chilling. They're chilling. They're not talking either. Okay. I feel like this person is basically, you know, trying to get their head and heart together. Um, they're, they're really wanting emotional and mental stability in their life. I'm looking at the guy next door cutting the grass and it's like they were out there yesterday. There's nothing else to cut. But anyway, um, they're looking for mental and emotional stability within their life. So they they really kind of remove themselves from, um, not social interactions, but I'll say intimate social interactions. This is definitely an individual that likes commitment, that likes relationships, but, um, right now they're just taking some time to themselves to kind of to recoup and regroup here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. 
What's currently going on for Aquarius? The Hierophant. I think you're learning here. Um, but you're headed towards the future for, sh for sure. Um, maybe some of you guys have decided that, um, you know, you want more stability, more commitment in your life. Um, maybe you are currently in a committed connection with someone else, but mostly I'm getting that there's, there's certain things that you are learning about yourself, about your boundaries, even, um, I'm getting that you're like drawing a line here for other people to not, you know, infiltrate your space when you don't want them to, or in a way that you don't want them to with the hierophant energy there. Let's see. What's currently going on for them? Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you don't hear that. I know you do. Let's see. What's currently going on is the Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. Hmm. I'm feeling like this person is taking some time out to kind of really dissect some things here um, to get a better understanding of themselves, of the situation with you guys. Okay. Yes. Hmm. What's influencing Aquarius? What's influencing Aquarius? Let me turn that down a little bit. Aquarius. Six of Swords. Basically, you're wanting to move on. Um, you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting not to think about any of the foolishness that, that you know, you guys have dealt with before is what I'm getting from this. You're just over certain things, I feel. Let me shift some stuff around here, guys, so I can see what's really going on here. Hang on. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you just want to move on. And, um, you know, it's about like the Four of Swords, actually. The only thing is, this person is kind of like keeping to themselves, not sharing. You guys may be wanting to move on with someone else, or you may be wanting to um, just move on and be open to other relationships and connections possibly even moving on with this individual. But I feel like this person is keeping like, they're on reserve, basically. They're not doing much. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, they're just really wanting to get themselves together emotionally and mentally here before they involve themselves with anyone else, um, including you guys. Let's see. What's influencing them? The Ace of Cups. Healing. Loving themselves. I feel like this person is going through a spiritual transformation. They have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. There's something very sp spiritual going on with them currently. Strong Scorpio energy is here. Um, maybe Libra. Okay. Okay. They're going through a transformation, a spiritual transformation. What's coming in for Aquarius? The Page of Swords. There's something that you're realizing here. There's something also I feel like that you guys are planning. And you may have a mentor or you may have somebody that you've been talking to um, that's kind of giving you some... Um, not information per se, but, um, some advice 
And right now, I feel, I'm feeling like you guys are more like in this um, observing state where you're trying to figure out if this person is still the same selfish individual that that you have experienced. And um, what I'm getting from what I see here is that they're changing. They're changing or have changed here. Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? Seven of Wands. Yeah. There's something that this person um, has gone through. And there's something they, they have... Um, they have clarity surrounding um, a situation, information that they have received. They have clarity and they are standing their ground. Okay. I don't really see them doing much. I, I really see them kind of blocking you guys out. But not only are they blocking you out, um, they're blocking everybody out, like on an intimate level. Okay. Because they only want, this is a thing, for some reason, they feel a lot of ambiguity with you guys. Um, they felt, um, what is the word? They didn't feel secure enough in this connection with you. Um, so they're wanting straight up answers. They're wanting transparency. They're wanting, um, they're wanting, you know, a show of emotions from you guys as well. Okay. So if you felt like, you know, they were unemotional or they were all about themselves, well, they kind of feel the same way about you guys. Okay. So you're, you're both kind of feeling the same way. Um, about each other. But they're very defensive right now. Like they're, they have, they've drawn a line in the sand as well. Like there's certain um, things that they're just not willing to stand for anymore. Okay. Let's see. What's the advice? The Knight of Pentacles for you guys. I think it's really to weigh your options, okay? Because the Knight of Pentacles, the horse is facing the Six of Swords, moving on, moving forward, but the Knight is looking towards the future, okay? So what is it that you really want to do? How do you really want to move on? Do you want to move on without this person? Or do you want to see if you guys can move on together? Okay, so I think this is for you to really kind of um, strategize and see, you know, what's best for you at this point. What should you do at this point to reevaluate things, okay? To reevaluate this situation. What's the advice for them? Eight of Pentacles to continue to work on themselves, I feel, um, and also to figure out if they want to try to rebuild this connection. So both of you, you know, you have decisions to make about each other. Is this worth working on? So that's a decision I feel like um, that is on both of your plates. Is this worth working on? But there is definitely a need for them to, you know, establish some self-love, some self-worth, um, build on themselves here. And in building on themselves, you know, they need to decide if, if this relationship is worth building upon or rebuilding, restructuring, you know. What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? Devil. Devil is all about attachments. 
fear. I'm getting that you guys really feel strongly connected to this individual. But at the same time, it's like you don't know what to do about them. You don't know what to do. It's like you want to move on by yourself, but it's like, mm, I, I, I'm feeling like this strong draw to this person. This strong attraction, sexual attraction even, um, but def a definite pull towards this person. A lot of you are like, I feel working too to try and um, kind of divert your attention. What's coming in for them? I'm at 15 minutes. What's coming in for them? Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune. Well, 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 well. Karma, for one thing. I feel like you guys are being like drawn back together. Will of Fortune is a card of Jupiter. Um, it's not necessarily success. But being that it comes after, there's good cards here with the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, um, and the Wheel of Fortune. So with that being said, I'm feeling good things coming in for this individual. Self-love, um, uh, self-esteem, self-confidence. They're building up to the Ten of Cups. They're working towards the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The ultimate fulfillment emotionally and instability. Not instability, but with stability. Like the ultimate fulfillment um, as far as stability is concerned, getting to that tenth pinnacle, building building a legacy, having the ultimate commitment. Okay. But the devil is looking right down at the will of fortune. So I'm feeling like at some point you guys are coming back together. I definitely don't see it within, you know, this week, but there is like this pull and both of you are kind of like doing like this, but it's like, no. Okay. So I see Capricorn here, Taurus, Virgo, um, Scorpio is strong here. Libra, Leo, Taurus and Aries and individual or energy is here. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.